That was Oh Holy Night by In Vogue on Get Up Mornings. I'm Erica Campbell, and the ladies of In Vogue have been trendsetters in music and style for many, many years. Recognized as one of the five highest selling American female groups in history, they've sold over 20 million albums. They've transitioned well into the digital age, gaining 30 million streams and over 26 million YouTube views. I've definitely contributed to some of those because I love them. Uh, they've recently released a new project entitled Electric Cafe, and they're here with us today. Hey, good morning, Cindy, Terry, and Rona. Good, good morning. morning, Erica. I mean, everything is in heaven, Jesus. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> All down. men can hate on me right now <laughs> in the <laughs> name of Jesus. You understand me? You're going to add in the name I, of Jesus. <laughs> Let the hate begin. <laughs> Listen, ladies, I'd like to ask you um, in all, what role has faith played in the longevity of your career and this joy that you guys still seem to have to do what you do? Oh, my gosh, 100 percent, you know, because we, we realized first and foremost that we wouldn't be able to to even dream mm -hmm. of doing something like this and yeah. having a career in the music business if it weren't for God, yeah. you know. So first and uh, foremost, we give him the glory. Yes. Um, and then to to have gone through, been in the business 27 years and gone through mm -hmm. the many transitions that we've gone through, yeah. we've had to consistently stand in our faith just to mm -hmm. make it through it. Yeah. So yeah. We, we know. <laughs> oh, is that everybody's yeah, she answer? Spoke for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, amen. <laughs> okay. And I'll just add 100%. to that, mm -hmm. that I, it, it's very much a part of our daily routine. Absolutely. You know, we wake up in meditation, prayer. Gratitude, right. that's yes. a part of our daily routine. So Absolutely. faith is huge. Daily reading of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so you guys have kind of changed the view of how people, um, how artists grow into who they are and become in the industry. Um, what are the biggest changes that you guys have experienced or had to adapt to, you know, once YouTube came and social media came? Like, what, what was that change like for you guys? Uh, girl, probably <laughs> just trying to figure out how to understand all of this stuff. Right. You know, because I'm, I'm. This is Terry speaking. I'm very textural, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm a pen and paper girl. Yeah. And just, just checking emails and and understanding the whole digital process yeah. has been like just. A lot of effort for <laughs> a me. A lot of effort. Rona, yeah. Rona has mastered it. Cindy works at it. <laughs> and and um and so That's I'm funny. you know I'm 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 working at post, it though and I enjoy it. You guys were <laughs> singing you. a Christmas song and they called you to stage. I thought yeah. that was so cute. <laughs> and it's awesome that you share those kind of moments because I think it humanizes you. And so we know that you're superstars <laughs> and amazing performers and singers, but it lets us know like wow they're human just like everybody else. And I think that's Thank so you. amazing. Um, so is there a tour coming? Yes, there there is. In fact, um. Gosh, well, we're always on the road. And yeah. earlier this year, um, we were in South Africa, and then we toured all of Europe. Then we came back. We did a, a tour here in the U.S. with um, BBD and SWV. Oh, wow. Then we went and did a tour of Australia, and then we came back here to to um, America. America to work some more. <laughs> and with the release of the new record, Electric Cafe, which is due out March 30th, yes. 2018, for real this time, uh, we are uh, in conversations about a tour to promote that record in nice. April. And then there will so, be another tour coming up. We'll be back to Europe again, I believe, in April. Goodness gracious, again. you guys. <laughs> yes. Go. Yes. Well, you look amazing. And tell us more about yes, they this do. record. Grip. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> Just saying, I'm in mm -hmm. here looking at them. Okay. They smell good. Oh, God. The sunshine it's studio, shifting. the little it's sunshine. Shifting. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> tell us more about this album. Who produced it? Did you guys write and produce? Tell us about it. We did do some writing. Go Yes. Nice. We did do some writing. Uh, t um, the original producers and founders of the group, Thomas McElroy and Denzel Foster, are definitely a part of the project and spearheaded it. Nice. Also working with uh, Dim Joints. Um, our latest single, written by Neo and produced oh. by Sauce. And uh, we also have a couple cuts from Raphael Sadiq. Nice. Is there anything else you guys want to share about this journey and what you feel about music with the world? We're all listening to you guys this morning. Well, um, I, I do want to say that the album Electric Cafe will be out March 30th, but the single dropped Friday. Um, awesome. Rock it. And they can get that everywhere and, you know, or listen to it, stream it everywhere pretty much. It's been a journey. It's been a, a great learning experience, a lot of life lessons. And I think over the years um, we learned to um, – 
to listen to each other, to respect each other's creativity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and that everybody has a very unique gift and talent that they yes. bring to the table. We, your fan base, do appreciate thank you. you. <laughs> and thank you. And we will get the record in vogue on Get Up Mornings, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. How can they follow each of you on social media? My my social media, um, uh, well, Invoke social media is Invoke Music um, across the board. That's okay. Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Twitter. And Twitter. Mm -hmm. Thank All right, you. Saints, go pick up in Vogue, okay? Don't act funny. We're picking up their music, amen? Yeah, thank, thank you for you. the support. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for being, being with us. We'll be back with more on Get Up Mornings.